hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing great, thank you for asking. Um, so today I am going to probably be doing a little bit of baking. I'm trying to find a recipe. I just got a new Bunt um, cake pan, so I can't wait to use it. Um, but I'm looking at maybe making a chocolate cake in it. Um, just for here in the house. Um, not anything huge, but I am looking up some recipes and I'm trying to see what it is that I want to make. Um, I don't think I'm making dinner tonight. I think we might be just picking up some dinner. I'm not sure yet. My husband said yesterday, yes, you know, let's just eat out, but um, that just might change. If I do make anything, it's probably going to be some chicken enchiladas. That might be what I make if I cook. So anyways, um, I'm sorry I didn't post anything yesterday. I am trying to do things differently on my channel. I don't think I'm going to be posting every single day. Um, I might, I might not. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm trying to just um, figure out the content that I'm really striving for. Um, it's been a little rough, um, as you guys can see, you can tell how many people I have following me, and, um, I know that by now I should have a lot more, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to continue to keep doing what I'm doing, and I'm going to work my butt off doing it. I'm still learning. I'm still trying really hard, so, um, yeah, just keep me going guys and I do it for all of you guys that continue to watch my videos I appreciate it I I'm so thankful for who I do have watching me and um, you know just for you know just continue to tell your friends and family and have them watch my videos subscribe like them um, you know and press that notification button for all the new content that I have coming out um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, finish getting my day started. I've already cleaned up my house. So it's good to go. And yeah, I will see you guys a little bit later. Bye. probably making this cake today it looks really good it's a chocolate bun cake of course as you can see um with some frosting on it um i'm thinking about probably making that i was gonna make a lemon bun cake but i've been using all the lemons and i had a big bag so <laughs> the lemons are i don't have a whole lot left so i'm just um yeah, I think I'm going to make this, see how it comes out, see if I like it. Um, this is a new recipe. I do have a chocolate recipe for a chocolate cake, but um, I want to try this one. This one looks super moist, super fudgy, and it looks really, really good. So let's see what happens and see if I could pull this one off. Okay everyone, here is the recipe for the chocolate cake that I'm making today. Um, it's the recipe and the um, instructions for it. And also, I am making my own cream cheese buttercream frosting, so I will give you guys the ingredients for that. So here are all the ingredients that I'm using today. I had um, the sugar, flour, two eggs, one egg yolk, um, the oil, um, salt, baking soda, and um, milk, and uh, the vanilla, sorry, coffee, and um, cocoa powder. So right here I am um, putting the coffee into the heated pot 
and the cocoa powder. Now you want to whisk this until it starts to bubble. Um, whisk it consistently. Don't stop whisking it because it will burn. Uh, make sure your flame is on medium heat and um, you're just consistently um, uh, mixing it. It will thicken up. Um, it looks so it looks so good but it tastes terrible <laughs> I tasted it just to see what it would taste like and with the coffee and that was super strong now so for the coffee what I did was I made it very very strong that's what I always do when I'm putting coffee into my chocolate cakes um, it's almost like an espresso it's super super dark I add a lot of coffee to it um, I have a small coffee pot so um, I added a ton so it was very very dark and it was actually perfect for this cake so I am still whisking I will keep whisking it and then you guys will see how the bubbles start to form um, it does take about I don't know about five minutes or so so right here you can see the bubbles and you can see how thick it is and that's perfect that's exactly where you want it now in the recipe it tells you just to remove it from the heat but my pot is so hot I wanted to put it in something cool so I went ahead and put it into this um, bowl and then I set it aside that way it can cool a lot faster you can put it in your refrigerator I didn't do that but you can you can do that so right here I'm just adding all the dry ingredients along with the eggs um, and in the recipe it shows you how to what to put into what um, I had stopped the camera because my bowl was not attached correctly <laughs> and I was struggling with it so right here it is completely mixed in and then you're just gonna go ahead and um, you're gonna add your milk now it says to add buttermilk but I didn't have any so if you don't have buttermilk all you need to do is put whatever amount of a milk the recipe calls for and a, a cap full of vinegar. That will make your buttermilk and that's exactly what I did. I put um, the milk and then I added a cap full of buttermilk to it. So I'm stirring in all the wet ingredients um, letting it mix for about, I don't know, maybe a minute or so. Um, possibly longer than that I, I don't remember um, so I went ahead and just let that mix up really well I don't know what would I, I was doing at this point um, but I did move away from the camera for a few minutes for like a minute or so so um, now it is completely finished and right here I am gonna go ahead and add the flour <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, give that a good mix. Um, make sure it's all incorporated really, really well. <clears throat> mix it on low first so you don't get flour everywhere. I've done that plenty of times and <laughs> I've learned my lesson. So um, as it's mixing, you want to make sure all the lumps and everything are out of the flour. It does say to sift the flour. I didn't sift it. I, I could have, but I didn't. I just didn't sift it. So and then I went ahead and sped up the, the mixer. <coughs> and then um, from there, I give it a good scrape. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in the... Um, the coffee and the chocolate mixture. Oh, I guess I'm mixing it again one more time. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I've been trying to get this video finished for a while and I just have, I've been having some issues so with the video. So, and I'm looking back on the, the count, you know, the video, it's, I forget things. So anyways, I went ahead and added in the coffee and the um, cocoa mixture. You're going to give that a really, really good mix. <clears throat> and you can see how chocolatey it turns into. It is a great recipe. I was so glad that I made this. You know, a lot of times there are a lot of recipes on Pinterest that 
you know, they are just terrible. But this one is a keeper. This one turned out really, really well, and I'm very impressed with it. My family loved it a lot. So, and so this was the um, bunt pan that I bought. I got this off of Amazon. It's a Nordic um, bunt, band, bunt pan. Um, I paid like 12 bucks for it and I love it. It, it, it worked out really, really well. So I am going to be ordering me a couple more of different kinds of designs on it. So anyways, I went ahead and poured all of the mixture inside the bunt pan. My bunt pan, I believe is a nine by nine. So it did fill all the way up, which was fine. Okay, so because the I cake. put, um, the cake in the oven and on the recipe, it doesn't tell me how long it needs to be baked for. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bake it the way I will bake a cake. Um, and then I'll let you guys know how long it took for the cake to bake. Also to, um, it says to bake it at 350. My oven, like I've said before, runs really hot. So I bake, I'm gonna bake it at 325 and um, just go by, you know, that temp and how long it took. If you cook it at 350, it'll probably take less time than mine did. Um, it just all depends on your oven. Um, the way I like to bake cakes, I like to put them in the oven for 15 minutes, set a timer, check on it once it's done, and then I can adjust how much more time do I need um, for that cake to bake longer. Usually after that, I do it um, in 10 minute increments. So um, it just all depends. Cupcakes are different too. Um, cupcakes, um, they usually take, um, I put them in for 10 minutes, check them, rotate them, and then put them in for either another five, seven, or 10 minutes. It just all depends on your recipe and um, um, what it is that you're making. So I went ahead and did that, and then I will get back to you guys once the cake is out of the oven. Okay, so here is my chocolate buttercream that I am making. So I put one eight ounce package of cream cheese and one cup of butter, which is two sticks. Um, both softened. I put it in the mix and the mixing bowl and I mixed it until you wanted to see it to be fluffy and kind of white. You kind of want it really pale. Um, you'll see that butter is, you know, butter is yellow. So you want your your mixture to to be fluffy and and white looking when you get ready to put your powdered sugar in so I put one cup of powdered sugar in right now and then um, I put two no I think it was three tablespoons oh no two tablespoons of the cocoa powder and you want to give it a really good mix um, until it's all incorporated really well and then um, once that happens you're going to scrape down your bowl and then um, you'll scrape down your bowl you want to give it a taste and to see if you need more um, powdered sugar so I went ahead and I put one more cup of powdered sugar in um, it all varies as far as what you um, how much buttercream you're making or cream cheese frosting that you're making as far as the ratio of powdered sugar. If you want it super sweet and kind of really thick, you're gonna put a lot of butter or powdered sugar in it. If you want it more fluffy and loose, then you're not gonna you're not gonna put as much. So I went ahead and put um, two tablespoons of the coffee in and then one tablespoon of vanilla I didn't want the buttercream to get super loose and when you add liquid to it it will loosen up a lot so I you know I did it in portions um, mixed it all together and then I gave it another taste and it was perfect so um, there's the buttercream it's nice and fluffy You'll see when I'm pulling it out how um, creamy it looks and airy. So I went ahead and just put it in this container. Um, you don't want to put it in the refrigerator if you're going to use it right away. Leave it on your countertop because you want it to stay at room temperature. Um, if you don't plan on using it right away and you're going to 
use it the next day or even late that evening you can put it in the refrigerator but make sure you take it out at least an hour or so before you're going to use it because it's going to take a little bit for it to soften up again because it's going to be rock hard because you have all those solids in there and you want to make sure it's really loose so here's the cake when it's finished came out absolutely perfect um, you see how it's separated from the edge of the bowl that's what you want because you know it's going to come out really well in the center of it it was perfect and this is what it looks like when it came out of the pan absolutely gorgeous i loved it if i had it my way i probably would have just sprinkled some powdered sugar on top but since this recipe called for the the frosting i went ahead and put the frosting on top which is fine because you can put whatever you want on top of your um your um, bundt cake i just love this this is going to be great for the holidays um <laughs> The holidays we just ended them but you know just like even for valentine's day or something you know you could do a strawberry cake or whatever if you don't have a bunt cake, bunt cake pan invest in one they're great to have um i i absolutely love mine i know i'm definitely going to go back on amazon and purchase some more or go into whatever stores i plan on going into and purchase them the nordic brand is a really good brand though um, i've heard a lot about it and i just went ahead and decided i was going to try it this is non-sponsored so but you know if you're interested in getting a butt cake like the one i got it's off of amazon and they're nordic brands so um i'm just frosting the cake no rhyme or reason on how i'm doing this i'm just putting it on there you know this is just for my family, so I'm just, you know, making sure everything is pretty covered and um, just putting the frosting on. I actually didn't even use all the frosting that I got, but, you know, you can use whatever you want. Um, so, yeah, I'm just making it look as decent as I can, even though right after this we're going to... You know my kids are gonna tear into it so um, I did put some frosting towards the middle and um, how you know you guys tell me what kind of cake you guys like you know what are your favorite cakes chocolate let me know so I can make it you know I want to know what you guys want to see me bake and I'll do that so um, right here i just sprinkled on some chocolate chips on top i did have chocolate sprinkles i have tons of sprinkles but i just grabbed some of those i sprinkled on some chocolate chip chips on the top and then um yeah that was it you can see in the bowl that i didn't use all of the frosting um but that's it's okay you know if you have leftover frosting you can store it in your refrigerator and use it for anything else and it will work out great so um, so yeah that's what the cake looks like and then I'm gonna show you guys here's what it looks like when you cut into it it's perfect like perfect and it fell over that's okay but that's what it looks like when you cut there's into no it frosting on it it's just the cake it's so moist it doesn't even taste sweet this is a very good cake. If you're gonna wanna make it, make it. It's very good. I did a good job. My family's gonna like it.